Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Mount Airy, North Carolina at the Mayberry Truck Show uh, here at the Mayberry Chrome Shop. And there is just a sea of beautiful trucks here. And I'm going to attempt to go around and show you guys a lot of them. I don't know that I'll get all of them because there's over 400 trucks here already. And uh, that's just a lot of trucks. So this video is a little bit long, but I promise there's a lot of great detail and uh and these trucks you know me going over them and stuff and i think you'll really enjoy it a lot of new trucks we've never seen on the channel before so uh follow along guys i think you'll enjoy it there's probably no way i'm covering every single truck at this show i mean it's uh there's 400 plus trucks here so that'd be kind of tough but i'm gonna start walking around and show you guys as many trucks as i possibly can starting out with uh kenny criers big ride right there I haven't actually seen him yet I need to find that guy he's a uh, he's one of the most fun people to hang out with Kenny's a super cool dude check out black and purple 389 widen this thing out it's got the purple duck night train Good looking paint job on it too. And you know what? They're giving away can you know? Giving away candy. I'm gonna take some. So uh how about this? This is pretty neat. I've seen you if you're on the internet, you've seen what this truck's pulling before. It's probably the most popular pontoon boat on the planet. And uh this 656 door is freaking cool too. But this pontoon boat, this pontoon boat is awesome. I was to say, the price of cool ain't cheap. I mean, the pontoons are polished out to perfection. Thing's got stacks on it. And if you'll notice, if you're driving this pontoon boat, you're doing it from the driver's seat. Pretty cool. I like the redneck edition, it's awesome. Painted the engine's legendary red. That's pretty dang neat. It's even got it's even got the button lights down the rails. How cool is that? Looks like it's got a pretty jamming stereo in it. Pretty great idea too. So they got they got a boot there that snaps on the cab so you can take that off and when you're on the lake you can drive the you can drive the ship and all your buddies are hanging out in the backside there. Ladder storage, some more speakers. Definitely the neatest, the neatest boat I've ever seen. And I mean, the 650 is cool too. You go for a minute. It's a lot of fuel. You guys have seen this truck on the channel. This is a Mathis Environmental. We did this truck last year and it came to Mayberry. It was at our show last year and this year and several other ones and he works this truck. So keep that in mind when you're looking this over right now. This truck goes to work and he keeps immaculate care of this thing. You almost wouldn't believe him that he drives this thing around and works it, but he does. We done that truck too. We did the we did the trailer. It is a good truck, isn't it? All of this held up really well. Let's go back here to the back of it. And uh, I should open up his door, but I'm not. But look, it's dirty. He's been using it. Pretty cool. 
I always love this truck. I think these colors on this thing turned out amazing. And uh, it's always neat when we get to do a truck for somebody and uh, they take this much pride and care of it. And every time you see it, it pretty much looks just like it did when, uh, when it left our shop. Actually, he's done a few things to it since, since we've done it. I guess I should say it looks better than when it left our shop. Pretty neat deal. looking Kenworth what year is your truck 81 it's an 81 yes sir super clean thank you thank you do you mind if I open up the door yeah, oh wow I love it it's nice thank you wood real wood floors yeah yep, real hard none of that none of that fake uh, no. pergo stuff yep, in no there fake pergo man all real stuff <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. It's different. Really clean looking ride. Good looking ride. Thank you. Thank you. Super classic. That's awesome. Thank you. We got another truck pretty neat at these shows every year we go to more and more shows and we see you know more trucks that we've worked on you know or in the in the show I mean you've got the Mathis truck over here this is one of Mitchell's that uh, he's got that we did work on a long time ago I think this truck's like an 18 model if I remember correctly and uh, it's changed hands a couple of times and every time they people do a little more to it and Still an awesome ride. This used to be Fred Rethwish's favorite truck. And then they sold it and then they, they built the cab over. So I'm gonna say that the cab over is now Fred's favorite truck, but it's a good looking ride. And again, this is a this is a work truck. It's not a, it's not a show only kind of deal. This truck went to work as soon as we got done with it. Phil had it, done a bunch of work, and PDI had it. They'd done some more stuff and they used it. And uh, Mitchell's got it now and uh, it runs down the road a little bit too. So, pretty neat. And then we've got the Bennett truck, which we did a video on it not too long ago. It just left our shop. Um, I think that would have been Mm, that well he picked it up at our truck show so just just a little bit after July this thing went right to work turned out sharp pretty cool uh, service truck here this one's been working I remember we done this one for Mitchell uh, early this year, I guess is when he picked this one up. And they use it on the farm. He named it Lucky Charm. This truck turned out super sharp. I believe that's just, uh, they use that just to haul fertilizer with. CNC Logistics, Kenworth. Now they really got good looking truck. I like the lights in the deck plate. The four inch ones are pretty cool. Really nice setup. All right, so going back to trucks here. This red one's freaking sharp. Hey, 
So I'm gonna be 100% honest, yellow is not my favorite color, but this truck looks freaking great. I've done it, you know, I'm starting in my, in my time here to start changing my mind about this color. I used to not like yellow, but the more I see trucks, especially all painted up like this, you can't not like it. It wouldn't be my first color choice, but I'm not gonna say I wouldn't drive the, I'd drive it all day. I mean, that thing's freaking super slick. Paint up the trailer some to match. Matching tarp on it. And yellow looks really good with all the stainless on it too. I'm gonna say this, I love the interior. It's got like that bass boat flake to it. Look at that. Super sharp. Well, I guess if, uh, if I was going to say that something would change my mind about a color, this truck would do it all day. It's a good looking ride. I like the big whole wheels on it too. We got dust in the wind. You guys have seen this one several times on the channel. Really awesome truck. Strayer's notorious PIG. That engine bay, this frame, all the work done on this truck is just phenomenal. And to see this truck at night with the lights and the way they dance and everything on the trailer is a pretty neat, it's a pretty neat setup. You can never go wrong with red. Super nice flat top. This is one truck at any show I've ever seen it on, you can always count on it to be absolutely immaculate. These folks spend a lot of time getting their truck ready for a show, and cleaned up, and you can tell it's uh, just beautiful. That frame paint is awesome. It's named Midnight Shadow. Kenworth here. I like the matching shoes. Good touch. The sunroof in these are pretty neat.
They brought lot rot down. It's another Massey truck. The engine bay in this one's freaking cool. I love the added chrome touches they did under the hood here. Things always drawing a crowd, I tell you. So this one over here, this black truck, the blue and red stripes, that those colors look awesome. It stands out really well. It's good looking, good looking color combo. Reefer matches. I the paint going down the reefer, the stripes and everything. It's a lot of work when you're doing paint, carrying around the little fairings and stuff like that. They've done a nice job with that. Jason's flat top. What are you doing over here? I'm going to give y'all a Mayberry Chrome shot. Oh, look at you. You got a cup. Don't forget to stop. Don't forget if you're down here in the North Carolina area, you got to stop by the Mayberry Chrome shop. And here's another little plug for y'all. If you're ever down by Crossfield, Tennessee, you got to stop by Sam Casual. Best damn parts guaranteed by the best people around. You have a great day. I need to hire you to do commercials for I'll us. I'll do commercials for you. Yeah, you start coming down. We'll just. What's your day rate for uh, commercial work? Uh, about a buck two ninety eight. About a buck two ninety eight. Yeah, about a buck two ninety eight. Listen, you come do a commercial for me. I will throw in a free set of painted window chops. How about that? I'll do that for you. Window chops, all the chops, chop from the top to the bottom. We chop it all. We'll chop our prices if you want to buy it. Well, I don't know about that part. Well, we'll chop them a one percent. We'll give you one percent. Just tell <laughs> Stumpy showed up. Nothing fancy gets your quarter percent discount. Oh my God, <laughs> you're a riot, bud. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should uh, should I hire him to come uh, come to work with us? He could be our he could be our sales and promotion guy right there. Oh, that dude's hilarious. Another reason why I really enjoy going to truck shows all the good friends you meet. Now you guys have known this one. We did this on uh, semi-casual. We did the whole under the hood deal and everything. Hey! Well, Barney Fife just drove by there. What are you guys doing? Just hanging out? Y'all having fun at least? Yeah. When you're ready for a story, I got one for you. You got a good one? Oh, I got a good one. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right. That's Rob there. That's his truck here. This is Rob Hallahan's. Gorgeous truck. And we got... Uh, he was. Uh, we did some. We did some videos with this one. This was in Texas at uh, Troy Show, in Nacogdoches, the other weekend. Super nice truck. Something about a matching truck and trailer. I'm telling you, can't go wrong. This thing was running a little while ago. Sounded pretty mean.
pretty cool Kenworth here. Of course you get mixed up with my pipe. Hey, everybody's got to eat. <laughs> That's great. That's different than Papa with tail. That's a good, that's, that's funny. <laughs> oh, good looking ride right there. All right, let's walk up this way and we'll catch the trucks up here by the chrome shop. And then there's a, a whole sea of trucks back there running around the other building. So a lot of trucks to cover yet. All right, we're up here by the chrome shop now. Check out some more trucks here. This one's super nice. They did the paint job through the doors and everything. A lot of interior work. It's pretty cool. Wood floor. Check out the, see if this thing will show it. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in. Check out the paint. It's got a bunch of sparklies in it. This hood's pretty wild. It's a pretty neat touch right there. No hucks holding anything in. It's all molded into the hood. If you, uh, I mean, for unique points, that's pretty nice, pretty, pretty cool. No line, no grill shell, everything's one piece. They Frenched in the, uh, the emblem there. Pretty nice. This paint job on this truck, pretty neat. Very classic. You got a little pinstriping on it. And paying the DOT numbers. Got Evan Time to Shine's uh, cab over here. The gold and legendary brown and white look super good on this truck. So this thing's got a pretty cool diamond grill. It's painted blue. Goes with the truck itself. Really clean, nice ride. floor is really nice. So this one has got a hidden def tank on it as well. They done four, four tank straps. And so one tank strap up here is holding the tank on. The other one's the hidden strap for, you know, the def tank will be behind that other strap there. And uh, pretty cool way to do that. And it looks great. Frame on this thing is all painted, T-bars. Oak built fenders. I was talking with this guy last night, so he does he does all the work himself just about on this entire truck. And uh, they done a really good job with it. compound turbos. It's a PDI setup right there. Super nice unit. Then over here, so I'm going to walk back a little bit so you can see both trucks. But you can vote. One dollar counts as a vote. Well, I better put some money in there. They just set these out a few minutes ago, so each truck each truck has a bucket in front of it. So these are both the X's that we just finished. So you guys already watched the video, or if you haven't, go back a couple of videos and uh, 
Troy's X right there, the black one, we just finished and it came here. Um, and then we just finished Mitchell's, which I drove that to the show and got here with it last night. And then they got it all cleaned up and everything. But Mitchell and Troy have a wager right now. So basically everybody walks around, they pick between the red 389X or the black 389X as whichever one is their favorite. And then from there, whoever basically gets the most money is the winner. The loser has to donate $50,000 to Brenner's Children's Hospital. And all the money that's going in the buckets or the trash cans, um, those also go to Brenner's Children's Hospital. So pretty cool, unique uh, kind of a wager there for a good cause. And uh, everybody can kind of get involved and pick which one they think is the best, which I'm not saying anything. They're both awesome. We built both these trucks and uh, they're both uh, unique and different, uh, kind of have a different style to them. So I, I kind of almost think when everything, it comes down to it, it's gonna be like the people like red or black better, or do they like the, the smaller bunk versus the bigger bunk? Um, you know, the spec wise, the trucks are pretty, pretty close to the same. Mitchell's is a little longer. His is 330 inch wheelbase and Troy's is a 320 wheelbase. But we done equally the amount of the same work just about to both these trucks. So go over Mitchell's first, which y'all saw a video on it not too long ago. But we've done a ton of work and uh, a lot of paint work. We hit the diff tank on this truck, uh, 12 gauge boxes, 12 gauge breather bars. We did the uh, single bag front air ride on the front of it, uh, shift fenders, did a flush mount deck plate with a stainless box, 389X shock box cover, painted the chassis legendary black, as you can see. And this chassis is painted inside and out. I mean, it's painted in places you'll never see it. And the shift fenders, Got a 12 gauge rear center panel on it. We even painted underneath the fifth wheel on it. Legendary red, cool little highlight piece there. But we left everything on this truck. I guess I forgot too, we got the 12 gauge rear center panel in there too. It's got red underglows in the whole truck. Uh, but we left everything that was a 389X, like that comes with the package more or less, on the truck and we didn't change any of those pieces. So it still has the original uh, 389X uh, cabin sleeper panels, uh, the exhaust the way it came, all the interior. It still has the 389X um, visor on it. We just took it off and painted the inside red. But essentially we left everything that was, you know, the 3D9X package on this truck. And uh, it's got a pretty cool, you know, kind of classy, classic look to it. And it sits super low and it's really long. So like this truck is, this truck's pretty awesome. But then you get over here to Troy's, 320 wheelbase, legendary black. We painted the entire chassis, legendary back, front to, legendary black, front to back. And, um, it's got new gen services, front and rear T-bars, shift fenders on it. Uh, we did a hidden def tank on Troy's truck as well. It's got a 12 gauge eye panel on it. Scooted the tanks way up under here. It's got dual 150 tanks on it and we hit the def tank is hidden up under the hood here which we just put the video out on this. So you guys, again, go back and watch that video. It was just a couple of days old. Um, we've done a lot and this truck has got just a really, it's got a lot of attitude. That's the best way to put it. The truck's got a ton of attitude. And it sits super low. Um, it's kind of everything with this truck is, it's, it's an awesome ride. I mean, both of them, I would, I would equally like to drive either of these trucks. I would have no problem going down the road in any of them. But on this one, we changed the visor out. It's got 13 lights on the roof. 
we, uh, we did eight inch monster stacks on it and it's got the eight inch Y pipe. And then we changed the cabin sleeper panels on it to 12 gauge cabin sleeper panels and they're a four inch instead of the, the three inch that the X originally came with. Um, you know, did the Dynaflex under hood pipes and all that stuff too. So it's, it's really, it's really nice, but we, you know, it doesn't have all the X parts on it, but it definitely looks way awesome. I mean, it's just got such attitude. It's a great looking truck. So, you know, it's kind of like the traditionalists are going to be all about Mitchell's and then uh, the non-traditionalists uh, will definitely like, will definitely like Troy's, but they'd also like Mitchell's. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see who the winner is. I guess at the end of the day, the real winner is uh, Brenner's Children's Hospital. And that was the, that was the point of the whole thing. So kudos to those guys for stepping up and doing that. That's awesome. We got another truck here, which you guys have seen on the channel. We completed this one not too long ago. And uh, this is for Jab Transport. This truck already, it's only been out of our shop since, uh, well, it left at our truck show. And um, the truck's got a little over 16,000 miles on it now, I think. It goes in and out of rock quarries. And Jonathan, I'm gonna tell you to go in and out of a rock quarry every single day with a truck like this and have 16,000 miles on it right now. It is immaculate. You wouldn't, you wouldn't guess this thing's been down the road or, or worked or anything, to be 100% honest. About the only giveaways are you can kind of get down here at the bottom of the fenders and you can see they're just a little bit sandblasted down here and a couple little dings. But I mean, like, otherwise, if you walk around this truck with a fine tooth comb, you're not going to find anything that really makes it look like this truck's been to work. He has, uh, he has kept up with this thing amazing and one thing he did too since it was at our shop they he got it back home and they did a single bag front air on it and got the truck lower and that stance really really makes this truck it finishes that whole that whole lookout awesome and the gray is a cool color anyway and then we got this needle nose here so this thing I don't know what color orange that is, and it looks very similar to like the House of Colors Tangelo orange, and it may very well be that color. It's a very high pearl orange, you can kind of see in here. It's got some hand pin striping on it. You don't see a lot of needle noses. This one's super nice. I love the color of this truck. Pretty neat unit. We got another cat power. Walk around this way. This is a dark green. It's like a it's like a forest green effect kind of thing. The color's cool. Fields trucking. The interior is super nice. All right, guys, that's it for that video. Went over a few trucks here in the parking lot and, uh, well, 
there's a whole lot more. If you look behind me here, walking down this direction. So there's a lot of trucks to still cover. Those videos are coming soon. So make sure you do all the things like subscribe, follow us on Instagram at semi casual show and uh, go to our website, semi casual show.com. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Later.